Hi everyone, welcome to another video created by me, Zan Ta. Today's Autodesk screencast focuses on some of the new features of Revit 2017. This will be one of many videos, so be on the lookout for additional videos in this series. Enjoy! Here I am in Revit 2017, and one of the new features I'd like to showcase is structural based, and that is reinforcement connectors. I have a concrete column and some rebar is placed and there may be a situation where you need to place a coupler between two rebars. If we head over to the structure tab of the ribbon and head over to the reinforcement panel you now have a rebar coupler command. When I start the command I can either choose place between two rebars or place on the bar end. Let's start with place between two bars. We can specify the type of coupler that we're working with and we can go ahead and click the two rebars that we want to couple together. And the object is created. The relationship between the coupler and the rebar is such that as I move the rebar, the coupler stays attached. So it makes it a little bit easier and a bit more correct when you're doing rebar detailing. The second type of rebar coupling we have are these right here. These are called headed anchor coupler. So if I want to create another one of those for these three over here, <clears throat> I can click rebar coupler, click place on end, pick the type of coupler that we're working with, and if I try to select one that isn't of the right type, it won't function properly. So let's double check and re-verify. We want headed anchor HA17. HA number 7. Rebar coupler, place on end, HA number 7. And I'll go to click to place it, and they'll all get placed. And they understand that you're not really just placing one, but you're placing a series of them within a series of rebar. And again, if you click and adjust and move the rebar, those ends will also stay put. Another What's new feature in Revit 2017 for structural purposes is variable rebar distribution. So let's go ahead and close this file and open up another file. So there may be situations where you're working with a design, for example, this particular floor that has a uh, non-linear uh, shape, and you want to create the rebar such that it is hosted properly and it adjusts to that shape. How do we do this? If I head over to the section view for this particular slab, I can select it, click rebar, and I can place the rebar that I need and once it's placed you can select the rebar and we can make adjustments to it. For example, let's say we do a maximum spacing of one foot and it will make the adjustment. Now, if you notice very carefully, the placement is such that I accidentally placed it the wrong way. So that's okay. We'll just rotate it and we'll place it, say, 90 degree rotation. We can then head over to a 3D view, if you will, or to the floor plan view. So you can see the rebar a little easier. And we can click and pull and adjust. And you'll notice by default, the behavior is such that it doesn't work with the actual shape of that host object. But if you have the rebar selected, you can actually click varying rebar and now it adjusts properly. And as you click and move, that information updates properly. Another feature in the what's new in Revit 2017 for rebars is being able to edit the constraints quickly and easily within the context. So now you can be a bit more precise of where you're placing it. Lastly, um, we'd like to take a look at, say, fabric sheets and their reinforcement improvements. So let's head over to another file. And 
we have a situation here where we have a standard column and a footing and you may need to create a bent fabric reinforcement so I can select this host object and click uh, either rebar or I can head over to the structure tab and click fabric sheet <clears throat> we'll start the command and it'll ask you to click to uh, within a structural wall or footing or floor to place it and so we're going to click uh, bend sketch select the actual object that we want to work with it goes into sketch mode and now I can draw if you will a sketch of the bent fabric click the green check mark and it'll place it if I head over to a 3D view we can take a look at the information. So switch over to say a wireframe view and you can see that information is being drawn and displayed properly. If we need to we can select that particular fabric sheet and we can change any of the property information that we need in here as well um, to make any adjustments. So those are some of the new features in Revit 2017 in regards to structural. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again on another video because I have quite a few more for what's new in Revit 2017. Thank you.